What are the three best daily planner apps? These are the three best daily planner apps that you can get right now. First and foremost, we have Notion. Notion is my favorite app. Thank you, thank you, I know, I know. Notion Consultant, no big deal, no big deal. But what is a big deal is the fact that you don't have Notion yet. And the fact that they are a wonderful application that can be used for task management, project management, and daily planning. The pricing on Notion is extremely affordable. I mean, we're talking, we're talking very affordable because it can be free for most people. It can even integrate with Slack and actually has a lot of solid basic free features. They've been expanding on it as the years have gone on. And if you wanna have it as a team, I would really recommend it for those of you that are interested because it does a wonderful job from a team perspective. This application serves as much more than just a daily planner app. I mean, we're looking at my entire knowledge and project management system within here. Uh, if I go to my actions page, yes, do I have a ridiculously high number of stuff in my inbox right now? Yes, but guess what? It's okay because I also have my meetings and notes right here. I have what today's content was posted right here. And I even have what workouts I'm doing, the habits I'm trying to build, and what meals I have planned for the day. If I bother to do my meal planning this week, bad Dimitri. And then even have my daily highlight to do a little daily audio journal and like to have it set up right here. And all of the rest of my knowledge management is set up on the side over here, which is just extremely convenient me to go through task management, project management, and everything within one application. The best part about Notion is that you can organize the screen to your liking and change things around. If you wanna learn how to make the best Notion workspace possible and learn more how to use Notion, make sure to check out my course, Mastering Notion on Skillshare. Or you can get the Notion app system right now and get access to that course and all the future updates that I will do to the course in the future for one time fee. And the second option here is Akiflow. So Akiflow is a wonderful application. Uh, it is, as well as the next option, going to be on the pricier side. However, it does have a much better integration. So it's $12.50 a month, which is not awful for the yearly option. And then $15 if you just go for the month to month option. So if you want to try it out, it's available for Windows um, on your phone in beta, Mac in beta, or Mac and Android and beta. So the, the mobile app is getting there. It's not quite there, but people really do like their, their Occuflow. I mean, I, I have an affiliate link down below, which I do for like most apps. So don't be surprised, but long story short on this one, I mean, this thing can connect to Notion. This thing can connect to your Google calendar, your Gmail, your Todoist. I think what the coolest thing about this application is that it even has like a Zapier integration. So you can add pretty much anything to connect to it. Um, the labeling system that it has here is really solid. It is one of the more popular daily planner apps for a reason. And the team is really great. They're constantly adding updates to things like the Todoist integration, the way that you can easily schedule items within here, even connecting to your Slack messages is so easy to use. And I do believe that their mobile app is making huge strides. So I am excited to see what they do with that. I'm especially a big fan of the command bar and how it can like pop up so easily and be integrated into your workspace with it working anywhere on your computer, even if you're not within the application. And that you get these nice little notifications when meetings are coming up, if that's your sort of thing. Last but not least, we got Sansama, which is pretty. Like, honestly, I think it's the best looking daily planner app out there. Um, it has an amazing amount of integrations. Just like Akiflow, it's got a Notion integration. Its pricing is 16 bucks per month, which is the most expensive option. 20 bucks per month if it's on the monthly option. But they do have a lot of really great integrations and have a mobile app that is getting better. A lot of these mobile apps are getting better. Most daily planner apps kind of had a bad experience with the mobile app at first, and then they've, they've all kind of leveled their systems up, which I'm really excited about. The smart scheduling features that you get in uh, Sunsama are really cool. I also do appreciate the fact that they try to get you to calm down. What I mean by that is they have this sort of a review situation where you can talk about how you spent your last Friday, how much time you're working, check out the tasks that you had before, and it has like a start of the day and the end of the day, beginning of the week sort of goal setting scenario, which is really nice. So I do appreciate, you know, I can add 14 events here and it can quickly take the items from the Google calendar and figure out, oh, wait a second, does that mean, you know, in my planning session, is that actually what I want to do for the day? Well, cleaning, that is a task. Yep, making dinner, that's a task. Pleasure reading, eh, not quite as much. Can remove it in bed, not quite as much. And then prepare for bed and chilling, not so much. But the rest of these, these are, these are tasks. So then I can go and close this out and skip the rest of my planning session and get into the application. And this, in my opinion, is just pretty, right? You have this wonderful, really nice looking 
set up on the side here. And the integrations are right for here to view. You can quickly connect with apps like Todoist, Notion, Gmail, and then some of the native objectives that they have within the application. I like that they always show the recent uh, shortcuts right here. So you can set the start date on a task during task creation by using like at, which is nice natural language processing. And they've recent, recently added some automations, which is cool too. Uh, other integrations include Asana, Trello, Jira, GitHub, and ClickUp and Outlook. So this is great for people who are working in the Microsoft ecosystem. It's a lot of people really don't get to have integrations with Outlook anymore. I don't know what it is, but they just they just don't seem to. The different channel options over here are really nice, just like you can use with Akiflow. And changing between this like focus view of just what you're working on and going back to the uh, plan view is really cool, actually. I think it's a great way to just like hone in on what you need to get done. If I had to recommend these three, I'd probably recommend it in the order of Notion, then Sansama, and then Akiflow only for the reason that like, I love the aesthetic of Sensama, but Notion is like my favorite. I think it has a lot of really great features outside of the integration side of it and is a much better price for most people. Just like this video might be better for you than this one because was this one informative? Yeah, probably, but this one's probably even more informative.